Hello, I'm Anna Raimondi coming to you from Connecticut in this episode of Mystic Mondays. Today, I want to talk to you about spirit guides. What are they? How to communicate with them? How to be aware of them? A spirit guide is a benevolent entity full of love for us. We typically have three of them, a major and then two minor. They come to us to help us as we navigate life, which can be very difficult. They come to comfort us, to give us inspiration. We have so much help around us, spirit guides, power animals, angels, the divine, our ancestors. This is just one group that adds to the help that we get from the other side. Typically, spirit guides have lived with us in a past lifetime and love us so much that they decided to stay back in order to help us at the highest level. Now, keep in mind, we have free will, so we can choose to ignore them or we can choose to listen. And sometimes listening is more on an intuitive level, the gut feeling. And you may wonder, how can I distinguish between a power animal and a spirit guide and an angel or my loved ones or God? Well, the difference is a power animal is clearly an animal who serves the same purpose as a spirit guide. The angels speak very succinctly. If you ask an angel, will I die? The angel will say yes, because we're all gonna die. That's it. If you ask your power animal, will I die? I'm sorry. If you ask your spirit guide, will I die? Your spirit guide will say, of course, but not right now. When you are being encircled by divinity, it's a feeling that is undeniable. And so you can't mix it up. My attitude is why? Accept this love that is coming from the other side to help us in any way possible in this lifetime. It is up to us to be aware of it and grateful for what is coming through. You may also feel an attachment to your spirit guides, a knowing, a recognition. Some people will see them at different parts of their lives in a dream or during meditation. So how do you connect with them? You can talk to them just like you can talk to all the other entities. They all hear you. You can meditate and speak to them through meditation or open yourself up through meditation. You can go to a medium and the medium may tell you, but I don't suggest that. I feel like it's so profound for people to meet their spirit guides on their own. You may also do a shamanic journey to meet your spirit guides. Well, you will see them and know them. However you want to do it is up to you. And even if you don't communicate with them, it doesn't mean they're going away. They're still there. If you believe in reincarnation, these guides could have come from any part of any past life you've ever had. I have a spirit guide who was a Roman soldier, and I have one that was an Egyptian. You may have one that's more recent. You know, maybe an 18th century woman or 19th century man. It doesn't matter. 
if you do not believe in reincarnation, then these may be spirits that you met before you incarnated into the body that you're in. So I'd like to do a meditation with you that may help you connect. Take a deep breath and close your eyes and just breathe in and out. Gentle breathing. And as you breathe in, breathe in all that is good and all that is right in the universe. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that doesn't serve you. All pain, self-recrimination, anger, disappointment, anything that is not serving you at this moment. And imagine there is a column of light above your head coming into your crown and moving through your whole body slowly as it moves through your neck and your torso into your abdomen, down your thighs and your calves, into your feet and anchoring you to the earth. And just recognize this light to be the light of divinity, protecting you. And you just breathe in and breathe out. Clear, wonderful breath. On that cadence in your breathing, the rhythm of your breathing. And recognize that this feels wonderful and you feel good. And you feel your awareness expanding as you go into that state of bliss. And I'd like you to imagine you're in a beautiful meadow and your feet are on the green, green grass as the golden rays of the sun caress your head and neck. You look at the clear blue sky and you feel peace. And you see flowers popping up from the green, green grass. Orange tulips and red tulips and blue, blue bells and purple irises yellow daffodils, white lilies, flowers that would not grow together. Fill the landscape in front of you. And it's magical and wonderful and peaceful. And you see among these beautiful flowers, a path. And you decide to walk on the path. And as you walk with each step, you allow yourself to be present in this landscape, looking around you, feeling the peace. And soon you come upon a bench and you sit on the bench, staring out into the distance. And as you stare, you see someone coming toward you. And as this someone comes toward you, you recognize whether it's a male or a female. And as it's upon you, you look and you notice the color of the eyes, the skin, color of the hair, the clothing that is adorned. And you feel the connection between you and this entity. And you stand, recognizing this is your spirit guide. And you embrace and you feel the love circling you, around you, within you. 
You feel it. You know it. You bask in it. And as you sit again with your spirit guide next to you, you begin to converse. Maybe you ask questions. Maybe you just listen. So take the time to do that right now. And when you are finished communicating, you both stand. And together you walk on that path, going back to where you originated. And your guide tells you that you will never be alone. And that you can always come back to this place to communicate, to be together, or you can just conjure up the feeling or the image or whatever you want to bring your spirit guide closer into your consciousness. And when I come back to three, Come, um, come, when I count to three, you will come back to the room that you are in. Feeling good, feeling loved, feeling peaceful. And one, wiggle your toes. Two, wiggle your fingers. And three, open your eyes. I hope that you will carry this feeling with you throughout the day or night or the days that come. And you will recognize that your spirit guide is around you to help you and love you. Until we speak again, God bless, be well, and be at peace.